Fine dust particles are a silent killer. What can be done to alleviate the particle pollution? Cool roofs solve the heat problem of rooftop rooms and contribute to protecting the environment. We checked on an implementation site to witness its effects firsthand. Take a look at the International Forum on Urban Policy in Seoul, aimed at the implementation of Sustainable Development Goals. Teju is visited by 14 million visitors a year. The huge influx of tourists has led to a growing waste problem. Meet the protectors of Teju who turn waste into art. Fine particle dust pollution has become a huge environmental challenge for Korea. How do fine particles affect society as a whole, and how should Korea solve this problem? The OECD released a report saying that early mortalities caused by air pollution such as fine dust particles and ozone depletion will rise to 9 million by 2060. The report also said that Korea will see the highest early mortality rates due to air pollution. Last May, there were only three days in which the fine particle concentration was low. The fine particle dust alert has already been raised six times this year. Members of the public have expressed great inconveniences and suffering, with fine particles showing up everywhere. Fine dust refers to tiny microscopic particles that can't be seen with the naked eye. Fine particles are only one-seventh the thickness of a hair, while ultra-fine particles are one-thirtieth. 미세먼지는 그 연소 과정에서 생기는 그 가스가 응축된 아주 가는 입자입니다. 그래서 자동차 배기 가스나 또는 공장의 굴뚝에서 나오는 것들이 Fine dust particles have a strong negative impact on health, being called the silent killer. The WHO has also designated black carbon found in fine particles as a grade 1 carcinogen. There are also studies showing that fine dust particles increase the chance of non-respiratory diseases such as heart disease and Alzheimer's. 소화기를 뺀 거의 모든 질병하고 연관성이 있다라고 증명이 되어지고 있고요. 최근에 와서 가장 많이 연구되고 있는 게 이제 만성 질환들, 특히 이제 성인병들과의 연관성에 대한 것도 굉장히 많이 연구가 진행되고 있어서 어, 호흡기나 심혈관 계통의 질병이 주이긴 하지만 어, 그 먼지하고는 어, 굉장히 다양한 질병들이 거의 다 관계가 있다라고 어, 연구 결과들이 밝혀지고 있습니다. The annual average airborne concentration of fine dust particles in Korea has been on the rise since 2013. As more days are being affected by particle pollution, concerns are rising about the silent menace. 최근에 에, 중국의 오염원들이 줄지 않고 있고요. 어, 대기가 정체되는 게 이제 큰 원인인데 에, 외부 요인도 있겠지만은 국내 지금 자동차 그다음에 화력 발전 여러 가지 요인들이 있습니다. 그런 것들이 계속 오염원들이 줄지 않기 때문에. The government has announced special measures to deal with the fine dust particle pollution. In order to reduce fine dust particles, diesel cars will have to pass stricter emissions control, while older diesel cars will have to be scrapped. Also included is the introduction of eco-friendly vehicles such as CNG buses. Outdated coal-fired power plants will be shut down or replaced in an eco-friendly manner. As 30 to 50 percent of fine dust particle pollution is a product of surrounding countries, cooperation with neighbors like China is also in the works. 정부는 국민 건강보다 중요한 것은 없다는 각오로 미세먼지를 저감하는 데 총력을 기울이겠습니다. Diesel cars account for the largest proportion of fine particle emissions in the capital area.
Recently, the Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials developed technology capable of dramatically reducing the fine dust particles emitted from diesel cars. A plasma burner was applied to an emissions reduction device, which proved to be able to reduce air pollution by up to 95 percent. As pollutants are burned away without limitation, regardless of low exhaust temperature or bad driving, it is regarded as the most outstanding technology in pollutant reduction currently existing. If the emissions reduction technology for diesel cars is approved by the Ministry of Environment and commercialized next year, it would help to reduce fine dust particle pollution considerably. 우리 주변에서 검은 매연을 뿜어내는 차가 사라지게 될 것입니다. 결과적으로 요즘 큰 문제가 되고 있는 미세먼지 문제 이런 문제들도 큰 도움이 될 것으로 보고 있습니다. What other efforts are needed to find a fundamental solution to find us particle pollution? 환경 정책을 수행하기 위한 컨트롤 타워의 역할을 할수 있는 핵심적인 부서의 어떤 입장이 정리되어지지 않으면 환경부가 현재 수행하고자 하는 정책들이 현실적으로 이루어지기는 어렵다라고 보여집니다. 근본적으로 지금 정부가 미세먼지를 줄이기 위해 가지고는 경유차 규제 정책을 확대 강화해야 되고요. 신규 화력 발전소에 대한 전면적인 재검토 이런 것들이 지금 정책에 반영이 돼야 됩니다. Fine dust particle pollution harms public health and reduces the quality of life. We look forward to long-term and systematic management of fine dust particles to create a clean environment for all. Summer is already here. It is a season of vacations, but it is also a time of intense, exhausting heat. For people living in rooftop rooms, the heat of the daytime sun can even be life-threatening. The Four Angles team set out to investigate a special way to fight the heat. Park jung Su is an independent magazine producer. He recently obtained a rooftop room to use as workspace. But just two months after moving in, he was caught in a problematic dilemma because of the heat. The heat arrived early in Korea this year in May. It has been relatively bearable so far compared to the early July and August weather, but things are different in rooftop rooms. 욕탁방을 사용할 때 이제 가장 걱정되고 이제 주변에서 많이 얘기했던 게 이제 여름이 엄청 더울 거다. 그 얘기를 너무 많이 들어서 이제 에어컨을 설치를 하긴 했는데 이제 에어컨이 아무래도 전력 소비가 심하다 보니까 아이어컨을 계속 틀어놓을 수는 없는데 또 그렇다고 더위를 계속 참고 있을 수는 없으니까. Mr. Park immediately began to find solutions for the heat problem. How do others who reside in rooftop rooms cool things down? He eventually came to an answer. 쿨루프 프로젝트를 하신다고 해서 연락을 드렸는데 어떻게 하면 받을 수 있을지. The solution is cool roofs. The basic idea is to paint the roof white so that heat is reflected rather than absorbed by the building. The roof of Jungsu's room was thus turned white. But how effective did it turn out to be? 흰색으로 하고 나니까 되게 많이 시원해졌고 에어컨을 설치를 했는데 거의 틀질 않고 있거든요. 그것만 봐도 아 되게 체감할 수 있는 온도가 많이 나아졌다는 걸 느끼게 됐습니다. The heat reflection rate of ordinary roofs is 17%. But for cool roofs, that figure jumps to 88%. 우리가 지붕을 어떤 색깔로 마감하느냐에 따라서 그것이 열을 얼마나 흡수하느냐 이거에 미치는 영향이 다르거든요. 그래서 어두운 색이 아니고 밝은 색의 도료를 칠해서 마감을 해주면은 그만큼 건물 내로 흡수되는 열이 줄어들 수 있다는 것입니다. 에너지를 그만큼 많이 들여서 시원하게 할 필요가 없어진다는 것입니다. Rooftop rooms are usually occupied by those who can't afford more accommodating homes, such as young people or low-income elderly people living alone. Keeping the air conditioner on all summer is an expensive luxury that they can't afford. That is why this inexpensive cool roof is a realistic and effective solution. 
Cool roofs are frequently compared to green roofs. Cool roof cost only 20 to 25% of the cost of green roof. And while green roof can only be built on concrete structures, cool roof face no such restrictions. As a result, the Seoul Metropolitan Government has been operating a free cool roof construction project for residents of rooftop rooms for the past three years. Cool roof 도료를 생산하는 기업들도 협력을 해서 더 많은 곳에 시공이 될수 있도록 추진해 갈 예정인데요. 학교의 체육관 옥상이라든가 컨테이너 박스 그리고 도시의 거리에 있는 가판대 등 더위에 취약한 공간을 cool roof 시공을 하고요. 그 시범적으로 실시를 해서 더 많은 곳에 확산시키도록 추진해 추진해 나갈 계획입니다. Cool roof combat extreme heat, lowering the amount of energy used for air conditioning. What's more, it can contribute to mitigating the urban heat island phenomenon. This has made it a widely accepted measure in other countries as well, including the US. President Barack Obama signed a plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 20% by 2020 and made specific mention of cool roof. Seoul City's free cool roof installation project will continue until the end of June. We want to see how it works. The inside temperature is 32.6 degrees and the building surface temperature is 44 degrees. How much will those figures drop? 표면 온도가 이렇게 초록색 같은 경우는 한 70도까지도 올라가요. 네. 근데 이제 저희가 화이트 루프, 쿨 루프로 하면 어 사람 체온 이상 안 올라가더라고요. 그러니까 30도 이상 표면 온도 차이가 나고 저희가 서울시 전체 면적을 어 전체 면적을 다 이렇게 쿨 루프로 한걸 계산을 해 보니까 탄소 배출이 주는 거는 어마어마하고 나무 20만 그루 정도를 네. 어 심는 효과가 나오더라고요. 네. 굉장하죠. The first thing to do before applying the paint is to remove debris from the surface and clean the roof. Only when the cleanup is completed can the paint be applied. That paint is an insulating paint that contains pigments to reflect infrared light. The work is finally completed and the interior and surface temperature have both dropped significantly. 다른 옥탑방에 사시는 분들도 쿨로프를 한번 해보시면 정말 시원함을 저와 같이 느낄 수 있지 않을까 생각이 듭니다. 여름철 냉방 부하를 줄여서 지금 도심 열섬 현상도 줄일 수 있고 더 나아가서는 탄소 배출을 줄여서 우리 지구를 보다 더 지속 가능하게 만드는 효과가 있습니다. Cool roof, which mitigate heat and cut down on energy consumption in a simple way, are emerging as a great way to make the world cooler and healthier. It is sure to be a thriftly and effective way to beat the heat in the summer. As a platform to showcase the top metropolitan policies of various nations, and as a venue to discuss sustainable development goals, the International Forum on Urban Policy was held this June in Seoul. The city of Seoul hosted the International Forum on Urban Policy to address Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. SDGs are a new keyword adopted by the UN last September to spearhead international collaborative efforts. The forum was the first event dedicated to SDGs in the field of urban policy and administration. The event was attended by 500 representatives of international organizations and research groups from 38 cities from around the world, including Seoul. They attempted to find solutions to shared problems such as concentrated population density, housing, transportation, and the environment. Cities in the more advanced parts of Asia that are showing 
sustainable development. Like if you take Korea, like city like Seoul or Songdo, unfortunately the rest of Asia, the cities are not in a sustainable path now. And I think all our collective effort is to start making the move towards sustainable solutions. They're not there. We have to deliver this issue, which is very much sustainability in our area. I think that's the challenge that we face now. Seoul, as the host city, showcased the metropolitan government's top policies such as renewable energy projects and the shared urban infrastructure system. Still, there are a lot of uh, uh, problems existing which we need to tackle. For example, finance and policies and uh, resources. Developing cities, they don't know how to get these resources. So we want to uh, share these policies. Seoul's public transportation and water and sewage systems were also lauded as model case studies. The electronic administrative systems of Seoul were likewise chosen by developing nations as a technology worth aspiring to. I'm very, very impressed with uh, what has been done uh, by Seoul in the last 10 to 15 years. In terms of mobility, you know, it's a beautiful city with uh, projects like Jonggae Stream. And so that's why we are working closely with the Seoul government. We have a collaboration with the Seoul Institute to share and exchange knowledge. Uh, and one of the areas that we are particularly interested in is uh, transportation. I'm very happy to come to Seoul because many people in the world look to Seoul as an inspiration, as a place that has inspired a lot of work on climate change and on green growth in trying to address questions of climate change, in trying to address questions of citizen participation using digital literacy. This is one thing that has been, been tried a lot in Korea, that a lot of countries, including in East Asia, could actually learn from, whether it's Japan or even China and, and many other parts of the world, they could learn very effectively uh, from what you're, you're, you're doing here. Civil servants of cities overseas were offered a chance to get on site and witness Seoul's top facilities firsthand. Parts of Korea's new and renewable energy projects were revealed. These included the process by which urban waste is transformed into valuable resources and energy sources. It is very interesting because in our place, now, today, we are trying to close our 50-year-old dump site and we are planning to build a sanitary landfill or trying to find some other kind of technology to be used. Visitors from abroad also visited the Sky Park. As recently as a few years ago, the park was a landfill, but it has now become one of Seoul's major eco-parks. It was introduced as a model of urban development. I think cities, governments from all over the world can learn from what Seoul government is doing. That if there is enough political will uh, to make policies that are sustainable, I think we can all achieve the sustainable development goals. It's really what you, for example, did to rehabilitate such a dumping site. That, that's a tremendous task and that's what we have in most of the Southeast Asian countries. We have horrible dumping sites with order, with environmental pollution, etc. And you showed that it is possible to rehabilitate such a, such a dumping site and make a beautiful park out of it everybody can enjoy. The entire world, and developing nations in particular, are faced with various difficult problems as a result of rapid urbanization. In efforts to achieve sustainable development of cities that nurture rather than imprison its residents, intercity networking that transcends borders to share the best policies has become more important than ever. About 14 million tourists visit Jeju Island per year. But with a growing influx of tourists came the problem of marine litter, threatening its ecosystem. This has led to a group of volunteers gathering to protect its beaches. Jeju Island is a place blessed by nature. Today we meet beachcombing activists working under the name Jeju-do Chua. Beachcombing refers to combing through beaches to pick up objects lying on shore. 
These discarded objects are given new life as they are transformed into art. Marine litter collected from Jeju Island has grown from 1,348 tons in 2013 to 30,954 tons in 2015, multiplying 10 times in just two years. Jeju Island is now plagued by litter discarded by tourists and drifting in from the ocean. The glass pieces, driftwood and plastics discarded by people are endangering the marine environment. This is why beachcombers are collecting the litter one by one to save the beaches and adding their ideas to create art from it. This is an artwork made by marine litter given a new lease on life. Jeju-do Joa was founded by a group of young people in the 30s. They came together with talents in different areas, wood making, illustrations, glass art, film making, and events organization to solve the marine litter problem on Jeju Island. Jeju-do에 Beach commerce organize a variety of events from making art to flea markets, performances and exhibitions. They have an open studio workshop allowing residents and tourists to visit freely, watch the work they are doing and learn. This is another workshop where designers and artists gather to transform litter into useful objects. This is upcycling, which means to recycle and upgrade discarded objects through design. Kim ji -hwan is an interior designer and artist who creates one-of-a-kind pieces from litter. I was in school, I I here, parents can participate with their children to create art. Upcycling is a concept of recycling. It is used to use recycled materials to create art. It is used to use recycled materials to create art. It is used to use recycled materials to to Kim ji -hwan provides a space for artistic creation and education using litter as a motive. Although woodworking may be difficult for newcomers, they learn to appreciate the unique individuality of each piece of wood and imbue discarded objects with artistic value. Mr. Kim says that it is time for a change of attitudes. Let's 
소외된 것, 치부시 되는 것들이 디자인 개념을 집어넣어서 가치를 새로 부여하거든요. 이 가치가 부여되는 순간 사람들한테 매력적인 상품이 되고 작품이 될수 있습니다. 약간 등한시되고 무시됐던 것들이 창작적인 그런 작업을 통해서 새롭게 탄생한다는 것에 대해서는 굉장히 가치가 있고 또 이제 재미를 느끼고 있습니다. Jeju Island, treasure trove of natural beauty. Let's hope it continues to be a place where nature coexists with communities with the efforts of these beachcombers.